So basically today was just one of those days where I just had to cover some things that I just had to cover. And in teaching, it can be that way, where there's just something that needs to be read, something that needs to be completed, and you have to step back temporarily from the curriculum or the lesson plan just to get some things done. The hitch uniforms are a hot, wrinkled mess. Um, but normally I would have done this a little bit differently. I do have three days for these are all undergarments and socks. Right now, this one is for Xavier. And then I have another Ziploc for Gabe. The babies have their clothes packed up as well. And I'll show you how I did that. Three days of clothes for Raven. All of the clothes are folded together. Just like you would do for packing to save space. His bag's bigger. I have him in jean shorts today. But this is my... <laughs> idea of organization this week. Oh, the struggle is real. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Say hi. <coughs> they are finally awake. Let me tell you how they didn't want to get up this morning. So <laughs> they finally did. I'm off to work. Crazy kids. All right, so testing is over, thank goodness. And we have some makeups today, so we do have to go back into phone and electronics jail. No phones, no cell phones, no smartwatches, none of that stuff. So after makeups and everything are over, then it shouldn't be too bad. I do plan to teach full lessons for the next few days. And the light is red. You can't, you can't just go through a red light, Raven. That's not how this works. Are you a driver and you wanna tell me how to drive? Vroom fast. <laughs> you can't go vroom fast if the light is red this week. We do have another what? district assessment that I have to get the kids ready for. And it does require the reading of a lengthy text where it's not just a, um, a long passage. So we're going to do that and get ready for it just to get the kids back in the routine of things. But I'm heading to take these wild people to daycare now. So I'll catch up with y'all in a bit. It's the end? It's the end, thank God. You ready? Yeah. What'd you say, baby? Yeah, time to go to school. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh, put water in my eye. Do you need mommy to kiss your eye? Yeah. I'll kiss your eye, Bobo, okay? No, me, no, me. I can kiss your eye, Bobo, first. Mm. I'll kiss yours first, okay? What? Oh, use the bathroom. What? <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what it is about after state testing and the antsiness that becomes so apparent, but y'all, my kids were so done today. I think, I think we just forgot the rules for a minute. I tried to keep today pretty light, but there's still so much to cover before the school year ends. Like the kids have to read a novel before they take another district assessment. Thank goodness I was able to find um, a listen to reading on YouTube. And they were able to follow along to the person who was reading the book and they got to flip pages and I sent the links 
through Google Classroom and we got through the text without having to spend as much time as it would take if I were to be teaching a full lesson around the text. So basically today was just one of those days where I just had to cover some things that I just had to cover. And in teaching, it can be that way, where there's just something that needs to be read, something that needs to be completed, and you have to step back temporarily from the curriculum or the lesson plan just to get some things done. and. I'll never have a day where I'm not addressing standards and making sure that standards are a big part of my goals and that my kids don't have an objective or learning goal for the day, but you do have to go off script. You do have to go off plan sometimes to not only do what's best for the kids, but to also meet requirements. I mean, it's just like any other job. You have deadlines, you have requirements, you have things that just have to be done. So on that note, I'm about to leave and go and get the baby twins from daycare. And I'm gonna head home after that. And my plan is, hopefully it doesn't rain, to go to either Home Depot or Lowe's to go and look for some paneling for my shed. So I'm about to go do some price shopping and see what they have to offer because my plan is to start remodeling bits and pieces of it. And like I told y'all before, I was gonna share with you how that turns out. So I'll see y'all when I head to the store, if I make it there today. I like to drive those driving seats. You like the driving buggy? Those are cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, why are prescription medicines so high? $25 a month, and that's just for mine. That's not counting all the other prescriptions that I might have to buy. What's the problem, honey? I know, I know. You don't live in Canada. Why do, you, <laughs> why do we pay for insurance? for the rest of the monumental expense it is to take care of yourself? She's Louise. My shed is not gonna be too expensive. What if, what if I what if I come up with cool ways to do it like for cheaper? What do you think? It's right up my alley. I'm gonna do that. that. I'm gonna do that. And save you, save you some, save you some money. You saving me some money? <laughs> saving me some money for your shed. Okay. It's gonna be cute though. <laughs> It'll be worth it. I, I love that logic. You're saving me money on shit, and I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> True. <laughs> so this is white oak. Okay. I guess I don't know about the grooves being so close together like this. See, look at this one. I like this one, but I don't know. It's cute. Yeah, mommy, I like this one too. Oh, see, that's pretty. Oh, I like this one too. Oh my God. You know what my dilemma is? That I know I want the wood floor finish on the flooring. And I don't want the flooring and the walls so like to match. It looks like one big piece. And my shed is 240 square feet. So to start at least, I know I'm looking at at least 14 sheets. Paneling is so reasonably priced and they've made it so cute. Now, I didn't know paneling had gotten this nice. I'll and maybe something solid with a little bit of texture for the ceiling to make space. Isn't that crazy? Oh, I like it. I don't know what to do now. Oh, it's so 
Tell me what to do today. <laughs> what do you think mommy should get? What color? What color walls? White or brown? Brown. You can't help decorate the shed. Xavier is out, not on the DIY team. I don't know. Let's go look at some other kinds of floors. Did you find the one, mommy? I think I found the one, Gabe. I'm thinking this floor right here and this paneling. I think I made my mind up. Sounds like a plan. Really? Surprise. Is it a magic door? Yes, it's a magic door. It has to be. Stop running. All right. Yeah. Boom. Stepping. Stepping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, did, we did a terrible job. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job. With a pizza kind of night, we ended up leaving Lowe's and then everybody got really hungry. And now it's time for us to wrap it up for the day. We actually did find some paneling and floors that I actually wanted, so I'm happy about that. Everybody's eating, and as you can see, the sun is setting, so I'm about to go inside and get everybody ready for bed. Um, I'm going to keep the Ziploc bags that I showed you all this uh, morning to, to organize everyone. Y'all, my organizational skills are lacking. I still organize, it's just kind of rigged, and normally I do a bit better than that. All right, so I'm going to go and check to see what kind of floor is. I'm about to try to see what kind of floor this is, if the pieces are solid or what, so that I can make some final decisions. That's gonna do it for me, guys. I appreciate you watching today's vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Bye, guys. See y'all in the next one.